Parky. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a video of a few hairstyles that you can do if it's um, you know, like your second day hair, third day hair, even fourth day hair. I don't know. So this hairstyle that I'm going to do is super easy. What we're going to do, we're pretty much going to pick out a little section, like a little ponytail, but we're going to leave our bangs. And I'm going to go ahead and take my brush to make sure that the lines are straight because... You will be able to see it, so you don't want it to be, you know, like super crooked. As I'm holding it like this, I'm just going to wrap my hair around and I'm going to create a little bun. I'm going to go ahead and grab a bobby pin and I'm going to pin it down. Once it's pinned down nice and secure, I'm going to go in and I'm going to stretch out the bun. And it will get, you know, like pretty loose and you could just go in and put in a few bobby pins just to secure it. This is the first hairstyle. Like you guys saw, it's really, really easy to achieve. This hairstyle is like little half space buns. I'm not really sure what they're called, but I saw Khloe Kardashian wearing them and they look super cute and adorable. They're pretty much like a half up, half down hairstyle. You want to go ahead and part your hair through the middle. Mine was already parted through the middle, so what I'm going to be doing next is I am going to be dividing the sections that I want to be my little space buns. Using this brush, I'm parting my hair, making sure the line is, you know, pretty straight for the most part. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to bring it forward like this and just try and do a straight line um, just so if someone is looking at your hair from the back it doesn't look super crazy what I'm gonna do next so my hair doesn't get all mixed in together I'm just gonna grab all the hair that's gonna be down into a little ponytail for this hairstyle you will need two little elastics but first I'm just gonna grab them up like if they're little um, ponytails facing towards the back of my head So now that I look like a little girl, I'm going to go ahead and wrap around and make two little buns with my little pigtails. First, I'm going to go ahead and pin it down, and then I'm going to go ahead and stretch it. You can stretch it as much as you like. If you like your buns really fluffy, you could do that. If you like it more tight, then you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to do them fluffy because I just love fluffy buns. And then I could put the rest of my hair down. So this is about it for this hairstyle. It's really, really, really cute. It is really daring um, because, you know, you have two buns on the top of your head, but I think it's super adorable. All right, so this hairstyle is perfect if you want to have your hair down but out of your face. Kind of the same with, like, the little space buns. You want to go ahead and divide two little ponytails. Instead of going backwards, you want to go down like this. And then you want to end it halfway. So you're going to need about this much hair for each side. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and pin it onto my head. Right now, I just have these weird looking buns. So the next step for this hairstyle is to tease your hair a little bit. And it's not going to be like super intense tease like how we used to wear back in 2010, or at least I did. It's going to be a really soft tease. And if you've never teased your hair before, these brushes are perfect to tease your hair. And I bought this one at Sally's. And it was pretty inexpensive. So the way you tease your hair is first you apply some hairspray. Then you're going to go in with your teasing brush and tease it downwards. From both sides, the front and the back. As we're getting to the top, you want to make sure to only tease the hair from the back so that it could start hiding the tease hair. And so your tease isn't showing throughout the day. So I only went ahead and teased the back and then now I'm just combing it through. I'm going to do the same exact thing. Apply hairspray just to the bottom and start teasing it. And then just brush it back. What we're going to be doing is a French braid. So I'm going to divide my hair into three sections. I'm going to go ahead and start braiding it by bringing the side pieces over the middle piece. Then I'm going to start adding hair to each side piece and then bringing it again over the middle piece and I'm just going to keep doing that to create a little french braid Once 
Once I'm done with the hair that I had selected, I'm just going to keep braiding it all the way. You bring it right over that teeth hair and then go up like this and we're going to bobby pin it down. Like that. Once your braid is super secure, you could go in and just stretch it out a little bit. Stretched it a little bit too much right there. Like that, so it just gives it like that messy braid look. Moving on to the next side, I'm gonna do the same thing, just a small little French braid. So just go ahead and keep braiding it once you're out of hair to attach to it. Then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna bring it around and then tuck it up like this. The last thing that you want to do is in the back there should be an area where the hair, the braids are not touching at all. You want to just try and bring that over to cover where you bobby pin the braids down. And this is how it should look. For this next hairstyle you want to go ahead and part your hair for whatever side you prefer to have your hair parted on. I'm also going to separate the amount of hair that I want it that I want to be braided. So it's going to be about this much hair. I grab a hair tie and hold the rest of my hair back. Here I'm going to be French braiding my hair. So I'm going to be dividing the hair into three sections and I'm going to be bringing the side pieces over the middle piece. And then every time I'm going to add a little bit of hair to each side piece. I'm going to go ahead and bring it over the middle piece. Once I don't have any more hair left to add to the braid, I'm just going to keep braiding it like usual. Now I'm just going to hold it with this hand and with the other hand I'm going to go ahead and let my hair down. I'm going to go ahead and pin it to my head using some bobby pins. And I'm kind of pinning it under this hair right here. So I'm just using a bunch of bobby pins to make sure it's nice and secure. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to stretch it. The next thing I'm going to do is pull some hair out right here. I'm going to go ahead and use a clear elastic for this part. And I'm just going to grab it up right here on the side. You could grab some bobby pins and bobby pin this back. So once I have it in the little ponytail, I'm going to go ahead and do a fishtail braid. And the way fishtail braids work is you just divide the hair into two sections. You're going to bring hair from the very back of one side and cross it over to the other side. Bring hair from the very back, cross it over to the other side. And I'm going to try and keep the pieces about medium size, not too big, not too small. If you guys want a tutorial on how to fishtail braid like more in detail, please let me know down below. And I would love to do that for you guys. This one is just like a quick um, tutorial on a few hairstyles. So I'm not really going to into detail into the braids in this video. Alright, once I'm done with the braid, I'm going to go ahead and tie it pretty low. I'm going to start stretching the braid out. You can always bring the little hair tied down. For this next part, please be really careful because you can cut your hair off. I'm going to go ahead and cut the little elastic off and it's going to give me this really loose um, fishtail braid. So this is what this hairstyle looks like. So that's going to complete this four quick hairstyles. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something new. But don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!